Good morning. It's early November and we're heading up to the mountains for some cross-country skiing. This is a good opportunity to check the winter driving range of our 2021 Model X, which is equipped with the Versin H battery pack. We have charged to 100%, which equates to 373 miles on the Tesla display. We've also preheated the car. For this test, I'm running Bridgestone Blizzax. These are snow tires and they're 19 inch. The roads are snow packed and the temperatures are in the teens. The round trip will be around 208 miles. The speeds will be fairly low, mostly less than 55 miles per hour. Traffic tends to move a bit slower under these conditions and the speed limit for most of the route is 55 miles per hour. We won't skip on the heat, so come along with us, enjoy the scenery, and stick around for the results at the end of this video. speed winter test because the speed limits are fairly low here and with the slick roads we'll definitely be driving under the speed limit. Now Tesla is predicting 58 percent. So far so good. Well now we're hitting up Toady Pass. We have about 3,000 feet of elevation to climb. It's still cold though. Temperature is 10 degrees and it might drop a little bit before we get up. great snow. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Well, here on the energy graph you can see we're starting to climb up Togedy, so we're going to have some very, very high consumption as we gain 3,000 feet. Well, we've arrived at our halfway point, and we're going to stop here and go for a little ski. Tesla did a pretty good job of predicting the range. When we started in our garage this morning, it said 60%, and we arrived at 57%. Well, here you go, Joey. I'm trying to open this pan up. Come on. Well, it is a cold one. It is six degrees out. We have a 20 mile an hour wind. <laughs> and it's November 12th. A little bit cold for this time of year. Start over here? Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, happy November to all you backcountry and cross-country skiers. Today is November 12th, and Julie and I are up on Togedy Pass. We're skiing in on the Brooks Lake Road from Wind River Lake. And this is the official start for the ski season for us. 
had a lot of great snow as you can see. This is a little picnic area they have up by Wind River Lake. It's a real pretty little spot. It's just gorgeous today. The uh, ice would be a little bit too thin to trust it this early in the season. Uh, we've been out skiing for three and a half hours. The Tesla is predicting that we'll have 33% when we return. We'll see how it goes. One interesting note on the return trip. The car sat for over three hours at Togedy at six degrees Fahrenheit. The battery cooled down enough that I lost regen. Now that's normal. What surprises me is that I'm 90 miles into the trip and I still don't have full regen back. My old Model X would get the regen back at these temperatures after about 30 miles of driving. In this car, Tesla has removed the regen options from the setting menu. I'm wondering if Tesla is now limiting regen when it thinks the roads are slick. If so, that is something new. Okay, we are back home now with 25% of the battery pack remaining. We drove a total of 207 miles and averaged 339 watt hours per mile. So let's do some simple math. The 208 miles divided by 75% gives a 100% winter range of 277 miles. Now this is just one snapshot, but I can tell you that it is an improvement over our previous X, a pre-Raven 100D with the version D battery. And I think the uh, Tesla Model X is a great winter car. It's probably the best car I've ever owned for winter trips under 200 miles. Uh, it has great traction, the ground clearance is good, the traction control is amazing, and as long as you have snow tires, I don't think you'll have any problems driving anywhere in the country. It's just the range is reduced, and you have to keep that in mind. Well, that's a wrap for this video, and I've enjoyed having you along on our trip today. I hope you found the information useful, and if you have, be sure to give me a thumbs up. And also, if you're in the market for a Tesla, and you'd like to use my referral code, you can find a link down below. So until next time, be safe and be kind, and I'll see you in the next video.